it's a car that you drive down the road. The fun part comes when you come to the water, drive in, and then off you go down the river. It's one of the best feelings you could ever have. Kent in England is home to a car that's as happy on the water as it is on the road. I'm Kerry Cheese and this is my 1964 Amphicar. I found the vehicle in Canada on eBay. It was up for silly money. I contacted the seller. We just got talking on the phone and he accepted my offer. I restore military vehicles for a living. I have restored a couple of Amphicars anyway, so I had a fairly sound knowledge of what I was doing. When I received the Amphicar, it didn't really need too much work. It needed more mechanical than bodywork. It took me about three to four months getting it all ready for a boat safety scheme, basically a boat MOT for the river, and getting extra bilge pumps and making sure things were safe, and it was watertight. Probably costs start to finish around 32 to 35,000, which was a reasonable price for one of these vehicles. Less than 4,000 Amphicars were built in West Germany in the 60s. Five feet high, 14 feet long and weighing 2,315 pounds. This vehicle is powered by a Triumph engine. It is an everyday car on the road. From inside, you wouldn't even know you was in a boat. It is very comfortable, it's quite easy to drive. You've got to remember everything, just take a bit slower. You're not rushing through the gears. I have had it to 70, but cruising 65 is usually okay. The brakes are only as good as the effort you put into them. You're back in the 60s with their technology. Basically, it's a car that you drive down the road. The fun part comes when you come to the water drive in, engage the prop shafts at the back, and then off you go down the river. There's a second lock on the doors, and it just pull them up, otherwise the water comes pouring in. I've forgotten it once, the water does come in, but luckily it wasn't too fast. There's only one thing left for it now, let's take it in the water. It's easy, relaxing, it's one of the best feelings you could ever have. With a top speed of eight miles per hour on the water, it won't break any speed records, but it does turn a few heads. The people in boats all wave to you, they all smile, everyone takes photos. Everyone seems to recognise that it's a car and can't believe what they're seeing. The one thing you do have to remember is that you can't use your brake pedal on water. It <laughs> operates the lights and stops the wheels spinning in the water, but that's all it'll do. It's great, it just makes a great day out. <laughs>